What's up everybody on YouTube, it's Max Rock here with another video. Today we're just going to discuss the uh, Microsoft Lumia 640, the device that I brought and unboxed on the channel, as you can see. Um, got it for, it was on Cricket Wireless, I got it for 30 bucks, $31 with the tax. And uh, it was a cool device, I was enjoying it, it has a 5 inch screen, it's clear, it's 5 inch HD clear black screen. I uh, never heard of a clear black, but it was a decent screen, looked really good. I had an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, I think it was, I'm not sure the megapixel count in front didn't specify, but it was a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, I want to say. Had a 26 or a 2700 milliamp hour battery, uh, 3.5 meter headphone jack, USB, uh, micro USB port for charging. Um, yeah, it had basically typical things that you can that you can expect from a uh, a smartphone nowadays. But uh, the primary reason why I brought the phone was because on the box itself it said uh, I can tell you exactly what it said: 4G LTE speeds. And right below that it said Windows 10 available via download. So that was pretty much 60-70% of the reason why I bought the phone. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to get this phone, take it home, get Windows 10. And if I got Windows 10, I was going to uh, activate it on Cricut because I wanted to put it to use. It's fucking it's Windows 10. And I never used a Windows device before. That was my first Windows device. So I can say this here. I didn't necessarily have a bad experience. It was not a bad experience at all. The only thing that I didn't like was typical things that pretty much majority of Windows Phone users or people who used Windows Phone before feel is that uh, there's no app support. I mean, things like Facebook, Twitter, Netflix is all in there, but I'm a YouTube junkie, and I, I didn't really, and there's a, a third party YouTube app, but I can't really feel myself using that on that device when I got phones like the G4, ZT, Z Max Pro even an LG Stylo 2 right here that I can use to watch videos and it's so much easier and convenient um, things like uh, the social media like uh, I've seen the Instagram app beta um, it was just, it was just a lot to get used to um, definitely a different set as menu having only two options as far as the layouts of the tiles and the yeah, actual app list that was something to get used to because I'm so used to having home screens on Android um, yeah but the thing is though, of course it's a different OS, it's not going to be the same thing, so we shouldn't compare Android to uh, Windows. But uh, yeah, the reason why I actually returned the device is because uh, I wasn't able to get the Windows 10 download. And I thought that was really, that, that, that didn't really upset me, but it just like... And maybe not want the phone anymore. Because I mean Windows eight point one is definitely a good OS. It was it was cool. But I wanted to use Windows ten on a mobile device. I never used Windows Phone before, of course, but I still wanted Windows ten. It said via download it it will be available. It's soon, it, it, via download it said it will be available. So I'm not sure why the update wasn't pushed out. So I you know, I did some research it turns out AT&T hasn't really pushed out um, any Microsoft updates for any of its users. Um, well, I can see definitely on the cricket side. Because doing some research, the unlocked devices, yeah, they got Windows 10, da 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 But a lot of the servers, a lot of the servers, a lot of the devices on this network hasn't gotten any update. And when I, I even use the uh, upgrade advisor, or advisory, or update advisory, or whatever, I used that to try to get the update and it told me that it's working with the, uh, I think it's that manufacturer, the, yeah, the manufacturer and the carrier are working together to get you this update as soon as possible. It's basically telling me that my device is eligible. Maybe I was a little impatient, maybe, but hey, if you say it's going to be available via download and I'm on Wi-Fi, they got a crazy amount of speed down, I'm ready to download this thing, put it to use, but hey. That didn't happen. So I thought that was pretty, you know, it sucked. You know, I wanted Windows 10. So uh, as far as everything else, the camera was good. The screen was nice and clear. Uh, there was no lag on the device whatsoever. 
I can't really comment on the battery because I didn't put it, I didn't give it a full day of use. I didn't kill it, per se. Um, that's pretty much it so far. Uh, yeah, the device was actually really cool. Um, I just wish it could have got Windows 10. Maybe I'm bitching and complaining about something that would have been fixed if I was connected to the service, but it's actually stupid because my S5 that I had, it's, you know, this is totally different here. I had an S5 that wasn't connected to Sprint that I eventually sold. It wasn't connected for Sprint for a while because I left Sprint, obviously. <laughs> it wasn't connected to Sprint, but it still got the uh, Android 6.0.1 Lollipop update. You know? So, and that was on Wi Fi. So it shows you, even though they're two different phones, you can still definitely get an update via uh, Wi Fi not being connected to the service. Um, so I don't want anyone trying to tell me, hey, maybe you should have connected to the service. No, it's not the case, bro. It's not the case. I would have connected to the service had I got the download because I would have put the Windows 10 to use. Because the way Windows 10 looked, because I got it on my computer, of course, on a mobile device, it looks fire. So I just wanted to put that thing to use, see how it works, get the emails, all that stuff, get it all popping. Because it looked dope to me, and I wanted to get it to use. But, turns out, couldn't happen. So, I ended up returning the device. It was just taking up space. I'll definitely get a new one in the future because I want to give you no a chance, you know. I might just I might just go the unlock route though because it just seems like you know when you try to get something to a carrier, obviously you're gonna be locked to the network, but you're gonna be locked to everything, meaning software updates. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's network service providing uh, ho uh, the hotspot, hotspots and shit like that, which can be used. Um, let me see, uh, software. Oh, I already said software updates from tripping. But if I roll down a list, I could think of some other things here. Off the top of the dome, not so many. Okay, not so many. <laughs> but I'm saying though, if I had got an unlock Windows device, I wouldn't have any problems at all. So maybe it's just me and my my fault here, being so cheap. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I took the device back. I didn't have any use for it. It was just connecting up space on my bed because that's why I keep all my phones most of the time. It was just taking up space that I can use for something else. So, the next device I'm thinking about getting is the Warp 7. But I already made a video talking about that. So, if you want to, go ahead and check that out. I'm looking at the Warp 7, and I'm also looking at... What is that device? Oh, the Alcatel Auto 4. Now, I'm gonna have to think hard about that one because they want 200 bucks. Activation fee, I'm pretty sure. Activation fee, a month of paid service. So we're looking at about close to $300 for that when I already have Metro and I can go get myself an Auto 3. 5.5 inch for 150. You know what I mean? I never had Idle 3, and I like those front facing speakers. The only thing that the uh, the Idle Forest has is that boom key and that glass front back. That, that glass back look nice though. But those are some of the devices I'm thinking about getting in the future. Um, I still haven't gotten the LG Escape 3. I'm hoping I can still catch it on sale. Hopefully, because it's still 20 bucks. It's going to be hard to pass that up. Uh, uh, let me see what else, what else. Yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I took back the Mocha, the, the, the Mocha saw. I took back the Microsoft Lumia 640 because I couldn't get the Windows 10 download. And I had no use of the phone. Because that's pretty much the only reason why I brought it. But uh, I want to say thank you, of course, for watching my video here. As you know, my name is Max Rock, And signing off, y'all. Peace.